Do you find yourself confused every time a man ignores you? Does that confusion increase your anxiety so much that you end up spamming him with calls and messages like a crazy person? You know, there's actually a much easier way to get him to talk to you while still keeping your dignity. Which is why on today's show, we're going to be discussing what to do when a man ignores you. That way, you're well prepared for the psychological warfare happening in your next or current relationship. So number one is you need to prepare for war. I'm not joking. If a man is ignoring you on purpose, assuming he just out of the blue ignores you after going out on a date and you're genuinely confused, you need to understand it's time to put your hard hat on. It's time to put your work boots on because you're going to get down and dirty and you're going to get into the mud here. Relationships are about control and power and everyone is always constantly fighting for control and power, especially when you're in a relationship early on. Things are always going to be fluid because everyone's trying trying to get an understanding of where do I stand? What can I get away with? Whether he might be consciously or subconsciously saying I'm ignoring her because I want to get more power. I need you to understand that it's war. I never want you to lose sight of that when you're feeling bad or when you're feeling bored because he's ignoring you. And what does that loneliness do to you? It pushes you and motivates you to say, ah, I know you were ignoring me but maybe your cell signal just wasn't working in your area. And maybe if I send you like a message asking you if you want to go out on a second date that you'll see it and it'll spark your cell tower and then you'll realize that you didn't get a chance to send me a message by the time you do that while you might feel good because you get the chance to talk to him again in reality what's only going to come from that is he's going to say cool so now i know in the future if i ever ignore her it's going to force her to chase after me once again a lot of guys are going to use this to escape the accountability from having to acknowledge doing wrong in the relationship because they know you getting uncomfortable is going to motivate you to ignore all of that and not stand up for yourself. There has never been a woman who actually ends up getting what she wants by spamming her man with calls and messages. Don't ever respond to a man ignoring you by thinking that you should be reminding him of your existence as if he went out on a date with you, got your number, was talking to you for the past week, and all of a sudden now he forgot that you existed. Do, do you think that these men have short-term memory loss? No, no, they don't. It doesn't matter because if he's not talking to you, he's not talking to you. And I want to help you accept that so that you're not discombobulated anytime a man is either ignoring you or just simply not speaking to you. Number two is going to be avoid land mines. Land mines are like things in war where they blow up when you walk across them. You're going to end up getting hit with a wave of super strong, intense emotions. And you're going to say to yourself, uh, I know you were ignoring me. I've been trying to be so chill for so long. I think chill time's over. I think it's summertime now. An example of a landmine would be you opening up that Instagram app. And the first thing you see is little profile picture in a circle with a little highlight around it because he's posted something on his story. Your heart drops and you're saying to yourself, oh my God. I wonder what he's posted and your finger goes and you're like shaking. You're like, Oh my God. And you click it and he's out somewhere enjoying his life with his friends. And you're like, Oh my God. Oh my God. And what's the first thing you do after that? You send him a real long paragraph telling him how stupid he is asking him why he's ignoring you or not speaking to you because you've lost. This is war. Okay. Your country has been invaded and you've lost your country. The moment you do that, you show him that you can easily be broken with just a little bit of discomfort. Look me in my eyes right now. Get off of his story. If you know you cannot control yourself, you mute his behind. You're not blocking him. That's going to make you seem bothered if a man ignores you because muting is not going to allow him to see any change in your profile. It's going to allow you to stop 
seeing his story posts on your timeline. That way you're not going to accidentally bump into a post by him that will trigger you. It's just the psychological warfare of the push and pull where he's still learning if you're someone he can mess around with and play with, or if you're not someone to be played with. There are men that will try you. Once you show them that you ain't going, they're gonna say, oh, okay, I tried it because it works on most other girls. I see that you're not like most other girls. And I can't do that with you. Another one of these landmines is have you see him with another girl? That's going to st have steam coming out of your ears. Your face is going to be red and you're going to be ready to explode. You can make the decision when he finally finishes ignoring you and he comes back to you and he's approaching you properly. You can make the decision whether you say, I don't want you or you can say, cool. Now you understand what this really is and who's really in control. Number three, you need to ground yourself. You're going to be in a position where all your mind is going to be able to do is constantly play back. Oh my God, he's not messaging me. Oh my God, he's not speaking to me. You're going to spiral until you finally break. You're going to start grabbing his t-shirts and smelling them. You're going to start looking at the walls and saying, my life is so boring that he's not texting me. I'm just laying down in my bed. Why won't he message me? Why won't he text? And you're going to spiral. This is why you need to ground yourself with things that will keep you sane, but also take up that brain space so that it doesn't wander off in the distance. We need to find you at least one single activity that requires some thought power, nothing passive. That's just, okay, I'm just going to sit back and watch a movie. No, if it's painting, then do that. If it's drawing, then do that. If it's writing, do that. Just don't write about him. Write about anything else, because even if it pops in your brain while you're doing whatever activity you're doing, let's say you're detangling your hair, you still have to be present with whatever it is you're doing or else you're not going to be doing it right. Very important that we keep you centered so that you can continue to focus and not get all discombobulated. For those of you who are looking for anything and you're like, I don't know, I don't know what I like. I want you to take out a notepad and I just want you to start writing. I want you to write about your fairy tale relationship. If you don't know what to do, just do that. Write about your fairy tale relationship. Write about what your perfect man looks like, how amazing of a family you're going to have and how amazing your life is going to be. Put your brain power into writing some affirmations down on this piece of paper that you can look at it and actively go back and say, oh, that's actually what I want my life to look like. That's actually what I want my relationship to be like. So that can actually help you identify is the man ignoring me that I don't even want. Am I being ignored by a man who isn't even the type of man that I want to be in a relationship with? Why am I stressing over a guy who's shown me on multiple occasions that he's not even the guy that I'm looking for? Number four, I need you to free your mind. Everyone with me, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And I want you to realize that even if he's ignoring you, your life is still good. You're still whole. The end of the world isn't coming just because one single boy doesn't speak to you. You're still pretty. You're okay. If he doesn't want to talk to you or speak to you, he doesn't recognize how amazing and awesome you are. That's fine. That doesn't make you any less amazing or awesome. I don't need to force people to be in my life who aren't prepared to be in my life. I want you to start thinking about your life like that. You can't be thinking about how do I force this man to want to be with me. You can do things to stimulate his desire to want you. You still have to allow that space to happen where he comes to you because that's genuinely how he feels about you. I know that when you get into a new relationship with the new guy and everything's going really, really well, the first thing you're thinking of is you're so perfect. This is absolutely so in line with everything I've ever been looking for. I can't can't imagine that I'll ever be able to find anything even remotely similar to this. I assure you, as time goes on, there will be also things about the person and the relationship that you discover are not so perfect. If you're approaching your relationships from the mindset that, oh my God, it has to work out with you. Even if you're showing me that you're not truly invested in this relationship, well, then what are you going to do? As soon as he ignores you, you're going to be doing everything you possibly can to make this work. And once again, you're chasing after him. So if he has disrespected you, what does that show him? 
No need to take accountability because your anxiety is going to lead you to start chasing him. And number five is you need to stand your ground. Once a man ignores you, there's going to come a point where he's going to realize that him ignoring you does nothing. In fact, when he ignores you, you don't take a step back. You take several steps back. You don't press him. You don't do nothing for him or with him. He's going to say to himself, oh God, it quite seems like while when I ignore you, you, you get a bit disinterested in me. I wasn't ignoring you so that you would ignore me also. I don't want you to forget about me and you. We cool, right? Like you still like me and you're going to start growing his anxiety. And the guys that are doing this to get their power are going to realize that it's all for nothing. And it actually makes their life harder because now they're getting closer and closer to losing out on you. I want you to stay sane when he does come back to you after ignoring you. So for example, a guy's going to message you and he's going to say, Hey, my bad was just busy for the last week. My phone died. Couldn't message you. He expects you to respond in a way where you'll freak out. Oh, you're telling me for one week, your phone was dead. And you're telling me for one week, you got so busy that you couldn't even send me a single message. That's like the last ditch effort. When he realizes that ignoring you didn't do anything. And then when you freak out, it shows him, ah, I do have that power, that validation for him that he's the one in control. Dad, this is what I want your response to be. And he says, oh, I was busy for a week. I want you to say, oh, cool, that's fine. Because then he's going to say, wait, wait, what? Yes, you were busy for a week. Your phone died for a week. That's cool. No problem. You're the one in control. Even though he came back with a statement to try to trigger you once again. When he realized that it didn't trigger you, that was like the last ditch effort. Once you strip him of his ego, he's going to come to the realization ignoring her doesn't work. It actually makes our relationship worse. On top of that, she doesn't even seem like she cares that much. So maybe I have more work to do in this relationship. Now he's chasing after you, trying to figure out why you're not moved by him ignoring you. And just that fast. Hooray! Hip hip hooray! You've won the war.